Hi, this video is going to show you how to take your tests moving forward in this class. So on the upper left hand corner, you're going to click on assignments just as you would when you're accessing your homework and look for the tests that you are ready to take. So here is the practice test that I've created so you can practice this process on your own and get a feel for it. You will see that it has a due date for each test. That means that is the time that it needs to be completed by. So you can't start it on April 14th at 3, but that's when the last time is for submissions. You will notice over here it will tell you the time that is allowed. Those of you with testing accommodation, it is your responsibility to notify me if um, the time is not correct. So then we're going to click on practice test. The password is April and it's all lowercase. So A-P-R-I-L just like the month April. And then you'll click start. And then it will give you some information here. I'm going to start right away because I want the timer to get started to show you what happens when it expires. Um, so make sure not to click start until um, you've used the restroom. Make sure you have no cell phones out. Make sure you have no notes out. Um, if you want to take the test earlier than what your calendar says or earlier than um, the day that is on the calendar, make sure that your homework is completed with at least 80% on each assignment. And then you can send me a text on Remind and request um, to take that test early. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is there's a lot of other better um, proctoring software out there, but because of the situation and some of you don't have webcams, some of you don't have computers, some of you are just using Chromebooks in your phone, um, this was the best way to accommodate your new life that offers flexibilities. Um, maybe you have other people in your household using computers, and if I had, do you have to take a test on a certain day at a certain time, um, and two people need to share the computer, that would be difficult. So it is your responsibility to use the calendar for this class and make sure that you have scheduled an hour and a half of your time for the test, and it's two hours for the final, where you can complete this without distractions, whether that be in your backyard um, or in a private room in your house. Um, so I'm giving you that flexibility um, to work with your life um, in the best way possible. So you can see that when you quick click on question one, it looks just like your homework assignment. Um, what you would do, now my problem is going to look a little bit different because this is the problem I had earlier. Um, so this is my example here on a separate sheet of paper. I worked out the work for the problem. And then once I have an answer, you type it in and then you move to the next problem. So I want to go back and show you again my work. Notice I put my name on it. I put what the test was, and then I put what my start time is at the bottom right-hand corner um, of my computer, and then when I should end at, and then I put a reminder, so I, I recommend really big on your paper to put sum submit work so that you remember you have 10 minutes when you are done with your test to do that. Um, so as you can see, my work is very organized. I'm not having to hunt down all the work. Even these ones that some of you might say, oh, I could do this in my head. Um, notice I did write down what you would be doing in your head or in your calculator. You would be doing negative 9 minus negative 3. And then you show your work just as I did. Um, and then if you get to number 3 and you don't know how to do it, leave space and come back to it later. That's a very good test taking strategy is do what you feel comfortable with and come back and do the ones you don't feel comfortable with later. Okay, so again... This is how your work should look, something similar to this. Now let's go back. We have about two minutes left on this exam, so I'm going to go ahead and type in some answers. Um, notice if I put the wrong letter, this one has W, it will tell me, make sure you use the correct variable. So that's nice, so that you don't get it marked wrong because of a variable. Okay, it will not tell you whether it's right or wrong. So you're gonna go through and if you're like, oh, I don't know, or oh, I don't know what to do with this one, just skip it. Leave room on your scrap paper or on your work paper. Okay, and then I click continue. 
And again, I have about one minute, so I'm gonna wait for that to expire. But I wanna remind you when you go into Canvas, when you're done with this to submit your work, um, you will click on Pages, and then click on Tests, find the correct test, and then you're gonna click on Submit Assignment, and this is where you're going to find that file. Um, so I did email myself uh, a PDF of the work. So I took pictures of all my um, work pages, created a PDF, and then I would just choose the file and submit it that way. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go back to the test. You can see that there are 17 minutes left. Um, again, I can't stress, you want to show every detail work um, because the score that Alex will give you um, can be lowered because I need to also include work in your score. All right, so as you could see, I let the time run out. I wasn't done. So if you don't finish, you don't finish. But it says you have run out of time. Your test was automatically submitted. So if you let the timer run out while you're working on a problem, um, it will automatically submit. Normally, if you finish on time and you submit it before your time is over, it will tell you what your test score is here. So since we didn't finish, we would click on assignment list and then you will scroll down to close and you can see the score to that exam was a 33%. Now that grade will not go into your Canvas gradebook until I've gone through and looked at your work. And then I will go into Canvas and give you a grade. Okay. Um, again, you have 10 minutes to submit the scanned pages of your exam. You want to show every um, detail as possible. And remember when the test is due can be found on your calendar. Um, so you could see the first one in this class is April 13th. Um, so I'm giving you another week for those of you who are not done with your homework for chapter eight. In other words, I would rather my students not give up because they feel like they waited till April 6th to do things and they don't feel like they can get things done. I'd rather my students um, see that there is hope and that if you watch the video notes, you do the Alex homework um, and you do the test review, that you can be very successful even with this online format. Now this has been a lot of time on my end to create all this stuff and get this ready. So I know some of you have told me that you're not used to the online environment. I get it. No, I'm not used to it either. But I have a job and I'm getting it done. And you guys have the job to be students. If you don't want to be students right now because you're like, I didn't sign up for this online version, that's what a W is. That's what a withdraw is. Um, so if you, you know, the next week decide that this is not for you and you don't want to put in the work, just like I can quit too, right? But I'm not. Um, so you have that decision. I get that there's other priorities that you might have right now that are more important than finishing this class. I'm not going to judge you for that. I get it. There's things going on. There's people who lost their jobs who have to go find another one and they can't sit in front of a computer and get it done. But those of you who are home and can't go out because we're supposed to be at home, um, you have this choice to complete this class without cheating. Um, because if you move on to Math 150 and you're not ready, that's just going to hurt yourself in the end because you'll probably have to then spend money in the future to come back to this class. Um, so be fair to yourself. Don't cheat. Um, work hard and you will be successful in this class. You will notice that I did add two weeks to the semester. Every faculty had the choice to do that. I did choose to do that. However, if you're like, what? I don't want to have to do that. It's okay because I've created this um, testing environment that everyone can work on their own pace. So if you want to take the test early, you can. I don't have the test written for all of the chapters yet. Um, but as soon as I have it posted, you can work ahead. Now you will notice that there are um, live review sessions. So on Monday, April 13th, either myself or Ashley will meet with you on Cranium Cafe as a class and we will work out problems from the chapter eight review packet. 
Um, this is optional. It does count as one of your events. Um, you can also count any of the previous live meetings as one of your events, as well as meeting with tutors. Um, an hour would equal one event. So then your test for chapter eight is due by 3 p.m. So that means it has to be done by 3 p.m. It says you get an hour and a half, and then you have 10 minutes after your test is over to submit your work. Okay. So those of you who want to work early and accomplish this class earlier, again, you can start the test as long as you have that chapter's work um, completed. You can send me a text and let me know that you're ready earlier. Um, so again, even though I did add two weeks to the semester so that people don't give up on my class because they see they have four, we four weeks to do seven weeks work, um, I did um, extend that. But if you don't need the two weeks, that's fine. You can work uh, ahead. Now, that would mean you would miss these review sessions, but that's okay because we have online tutoring and you can create your personal own review session by taking your review packet and asking questions with Ashley um, or a tutor. So please let me know if you have any questions about how the exams will work. You can always send me a message on Remind and ask me any questions. Once your test is submitted, again, remember when you go to Canvas, you won't see a grade because I will need to um, look through all of your work. Um, so there will be points based on your work and then points based on the right answer that you submit into um, Canvas. Um, again, I want to show you what my work looks like. Oh, maybe I closed it down. There it is. This is how your work should look. Again, it should look very organized, orderly. This is beautiful, okay? Um, and then I can easily see that your work matches your answers. If um, you're doing a problem differently than what I showed in the notes, in the video notes, I'm not saying that that's not okay. You just need to show me that you have a different way um, that you're doing the problem. Um, if anyone is suspected of cheating, um, there will be an oral part of your exam that you will meet with me on, on Cranium Cafe, Cafe and I will ask you some of these questions um, and have you explain different problem for me. Um, so this is what we're going to do moving forward. Now if I find it's not working and I find people are too many people are cheating um, and this is not working then this is subject to change. So as of right now this is how we are going to do our chapter 8 test. Good luck, everyone. You got this.